hello guys welcome to my new changing impact video guys as you all know we are having a wonder rerun that's a scaramosh rerun in the game so now let's talk about scaramosh Scar we gonna talk about everything related to scaramosh no the weapon the artifact the constellations the talents the Even teams the working of scaramosh and in the last we're gonna conclude with whether you should wish for scaramosh or not so stay tuned till the end guys Hey guys, so about the gameplay, you already seen uh, Scaramouche playing the ga uh, play gameplay, so I'm not going to waste my time on the gameplay. One thing I want to tell you that Scaramouche is the on-field main DPS character. So let's start with the build. We're going to first talk about the weapons. Scaramouche is purely based on the attack percentage, same as the Shao, as Shao is purely dependable and purely built on the attack percentage. Scaramouche is the same. No, uh, you know, uh, relatability to the elemental mastery. No relatability to the any other things like Kazuha. We build on the elemental mastery basis, but no. Scaramouche or the Wander is built purely, purely on attack percentage. So first thing we're gonna focus is the attack percentage, then the crit rate, crit damage. When we are going to build Scaramouche. In some sort of weapon, the wet set is the prime gold weapon for the four stars users and it's also a little f to be friendly so you can give r5 r1 r2 r3 r4 with it to your scaramouche the other weapons are the definitely the lost bed is the weapon and the signature weapon of scaramouche is the weapon also you can give the oath swan weapon also you will uh, you can spam the ultimate and you'll get higher attack percentage you can also go for the eye of perception but in my opinion if you're having the with set with set is going to be the perfect for scaramouche and there is a plenty of five share weapon that you can give to scaramouche like you can also give the uh, yamiko signatures weapon to the scaramouche and also yes you can give the dodoko tails to the scaramouche that's also very good and you can give the signature weapon. I don't have the signature weapon, but you can give this signature weapon to Scaramouche because yes, it's a signature weapon for Scaramouche, definitely. So these are the weapons that you can give to your Scaramouche and your Scaramouche will perform average, above average or pretty good, depend on your build. There's a two artifact sets in the game for the Scaramouche. First is the Shibinawa, this one Shibinawa 4-piece and second is the I mean, Anemo set which, uh, which is this one. We have two Anemo damage, two Anemo sets. Uh, first is the Vivi and second is the Desert Pavilion. So Desert Pavilion is the ideal uh, ideal artifact 4 piece set that is like literally matches the Scaramosh kit and literally made for Scaramosh. So, this one is literally very good if you manage to build your Scaramosh or Wander with Desert Pavilion 4 piece, that's gonna be very, very good. Okay, so guys, as I told you, Scaramosh is based on attack one say So, three or four things are very focused if you, and you need to find these four substrate in the artifact set first is the attack percentage sign then is the crit rate then is the crit damage and fourth one is going to be the energy recharge because you know you're gonna need to spam those art in shimano four piece yes you'll lose some energy here when you uh, activate the elemental skill but if you manage to have 160 170 or even 150 energy recharge on scaramouche you will able to perform the ultimate frequently so don't worry about that but still i suggest you to you know go for the desert pavilion artifacts uh, if you don't want to go for that artifact and you already have the good artifacts in, in shiminawa you can also give this shiminawa no problem and in hp yes definitely we're gonna uh, stick with the h percentage in flower in feather we're gonna stick with the attack no other option in the sands we're gonna stick with the attack percentage only no energy recharge nothing else just just attack percentage in the goblet we're gonna stick with the uh anemo damage bonus fine there's some anemo damage bonus here we go and gonna stick to <laughs> Now stick with the anemo damage bonus and try to find the similar art uh, strike like trade card damage attack percentage and the energy recharge and in the circle we're gonna give either the crit rate or the crit damage i'll suggest you you should go for the crit damage because i think scaramos gets crit rate in the ascension wait let me check 
yes garmoj gets critted in the ascension so i'll suggest you guys to go for the crit damage in the circlet or uh, depends on your build if you want to give crit rate go for the crit rate no problem so these are the artifacts and artifact sets information for scala mosh or wonder what do we say okay now so let's talk about the scala mosh team the which team or which character is this better or it's ideal for the scala mosh so we're gonna start with the first here that my favorite and it's perfect match for the scala where we headed this Toma. time and then second we're gonna pick a hydro character you can stick with the yelan or you can go with the with the Shinkyu or you can go with the Ayato. Why Ayato? I'll tell you in a minute that why Ayato. <laughs> and then well, third we can go with the to be another Pyro character. Why another Pyro character? Then we can activate the resonance here. I can't wait any longer. We can activate the resonance here and we can get the 25% extra attack. But uh, you can go for the Shangling or you can go for the Bandit. Bandit is going to be the Could better be epic. option here. This is the team without another Animo character. That's going to be the Faruzan. Faruzan is the only Animo damage bow buffer or Animo element buffer in the game right now. She is the only character. So now here you have to, you know, adjust your Faruzan accordingly. Need like the you help can with an elder, huh? add uh, Faruzan here or you can add in Faruzan in place of Ayato and you can bring back the Bannet. This epic. way, your Skaramo is gonna get the, you know, lots of lots of buff here. Like Faruzan gonna give the Anemo damage buff, Bennett gonna give the lots of attack, and Thoma also gonna give. Not Th Thoma, <laughs> not gonna give any uh, buff here. But yes, yeah. Thoma can give buff here only if you have Thoma C6. If you have Thoma C6, you can actually gain normal charge attack and plunging attack by 15 percent and normal of uh, you all know we are going to perform normal and charge attack with this caramosh so if you have your thoma c6 then you can gain these this amount of tongue, i just tell it like it is and now why if uh, i'm suggesting it. the hydro character here like if you if you take this and you have there and you will replace planet here first of all i'm suggesting hydro character for time? the vaporized reaction because otherwise this is going to be very raw team without any reactions and this game is all about reactions so this way if you if you play pyro and hydro together with skaramos you can you can hit the vaporized reaction but uh, and why, I, well. why I was suggesting I Ayato put my because Ayato just increase your normal attack speed here. So go and read the talents of Ayato. Sorry, Alt. he increases normal attack damage first of all, and also increases normal attack speed. First of all, a uh, normal attack damage is going to be increased here. Uh, now, now, I, why I was, you know, suggesting Ayato in place of a Hydro character compared to uh, Shinky or Yelan. If you deploy the Ayato's Elemental Burst, Ayato's Elemental Burst will give you 18% normal attack damage. And we all know normal attack damage is literally very helpful for Skaramosh. So, these are all the characters that you can use with Skaramosh. Uh, some will say that Faruzan is going to be very important and I totally agree with uh, with uh, that statement. Why Faruzan is very important with Skaramoch? See, Skaramoch raw damage and multipliers are very low. So you have to build a proper team, uh, proper buffer team that buffs Skaramoch to the another level if you want to give damage with the Skaramoch. The problem with the Skaramoch, Skaramoch is a Animo character and Animo character has to give two types of damage either to absorb the other element and perform as the as the damage like Kazuha does Kazuha purchase absorb the other element and perform or you have to give the raw damage like Shao Shao gives purely raw animal damage but Shao's multiplier and Shao's raw damage is literally very high compared to any other animal DPS character 
Scaramod's multipliers and uh, the raw damage is very low. That's why you need a proper team. You need a proper Anemo buffer. That's going to be Faruzan, which actually gives Scaramod Anemo damage buff or you know buff her Scaramod, so Scaramod can give damage. But still, I'll say doing the reaction that I was suggesting a vaporized reaction or a melt reaction is more sen more logical and better compared to the raw scaramoch raw anemo damage scaramoch so yeah that's on you guys if i have to choose i've choose this team in run for action in front of me this will i can give you know vaporized damage or if you want to not want to use ayata you can use yelan yelan also give some answers damage buff to your active character so Thoma Yelen Faruzan going to be very good, but what's wrong here? Still, there is something wrong here. You need C6 Karamoj, and you'll definitely need at least C3 or C4 Faruzan here. So that's also going to be another problem. If you want to use Thoma, you have to have a C6 Thoma here. If you want to use Faruzan, you have to have a C4, C3, or even C6 Faruzan here. You need constellations of four star character. If you want to use those four stars character with Kara Moch or Wander USA. If you don't want to use Thoma and you're planning to use Shangling, I'll tell you why not to use Shangling with uh, Kara Moch. Why you need Thoma. Thoma as a pyro character but Thoma is also a shielder and Scaramouche needs a shield doesn't matter that shield is going to be weak or not that strong as Zhongli but you need a shield let's get out there and make some friends because Scar if Scaramouche gets hit like I I'll show you one thing this is the shield Fire let's up. assume this is the shield of Thoma and if you go into Come air ah oh, fuck <laughs> we have to wait two seconds let's just wait we deploy our Don't shield, we go air, we go upper. Now we are attacking. Let's just assume enemy attacks back and hit Scaramouche. What Scaramouche is gonna do, Scaramouche is gonna fall down to the floor. Fall, fall down to the floor and that's gonna interrupt the Scaramouche attack. And that, that duration will cost us very, very... Uh, very much so that's why I'm suggesting you Thoma because Thoma will provide a pyro element uh, similar to what Shangling does and also will provide you a proper shield so you can have pyro and one more thing guys one more thing I forgot to t t tell you there is a thingy with the Scaramouche if you use if Scaramouche attack is sold or you know some kind of interaction happening with that element Scaramouche gains uh, some types of buffs here. If you use Hydro, you can uh, you can get higher, you can get height increase or more stamina when you are in the elemental scale state. If you use Pyro, you'll gain extra 30% attack. If you use Cry, you'll gain 20% crit rate. And if you use Electro, you'll gain more energy. So that's why I'm suggesting you Pyro because you, in that way you can gain 30% attack boost. If you have C6 Thoma, you can gain 15% normal and charge attack damage boost. Also, you Thoma will provide you a shield and a pyro element that you can combine that pyro element with a hydro character and you will you can activate the vaporized damage. Faruzan will buff all the damage of the Scaramouche, any more damage bonus, any more da rest decrease and also can work as a battery for scaramouch is alt <laughs> yeah this is what the scaramouch is guys so what's the so now the conclusion guys personally you think I've if you talk about tongue? only the damage like it is only if the dps it, part of the scaramouch scaramouch is not that strong we have better and far better DPS characters in the game if you compare Scaramouche with any Animo or any Elements DPS character. In my opinion, Klee is some way better than Scaramouche in terms of being a DPS character. If you want a good Animo DPS character, Shaw is the one that you can you should go for. If you want a best DPS Fatui character, we have the Child. Child is far far better than what Scaramouche does. So if you are finding like 
solely uh, pushing pulling Scaramouge just for the DPS or the damage percentages? No, Scaramouge is a very weak DPS and not a, a very F2P friendly. Like you need to have a five star weapon here. Uh, in terms, if, if you want to give the big big number damage, you have to have a constellations character here. C6, Toma, C6 Faruzan. Or maybe C6 Shinkyu here, or you you have to go for the Ayato or Yelan. That's a five stars character. So Scaramouge is not a F2 friendly uh, character. You can't use two piece two piece on Scaramouge because any two piece two piece is very useless, not worth on Scaramouge. So you have to go for the either Shiminawa four piece or the Desert Pavilion four piece. That's also a not F2 thingy. You need to grind a lot. <laughs> So guys, in my opinion, Scaramouge is not worth as a DPS character or damage dealer. But if you want Scaramouge just for fun gameplay, fun story, character design, superb character design and amazing gameplay, you can get the Scaramouge. Like you can explore Scaramouge, you can explore with Scaramouge, you can sprint fast, you can go to the heights, you can collect Electroculus, Dendroculus with Scaramouge, you can catch Hydroculus with Scaramouge as your upcoming Hydroculus, you can find the chest, you can solve some many puzzles, so in terms of exploring Scaramouge is very useful. So if you want to pull Scaramouge for DPS character, DPS or a damage dealing thingy, I will say no. The Scaramouge is not good, but yes, Scaramouge is very good for exploring. The character design is very good, and the story is also very good. And yes, he's a Fatui, that's also a very cool There's thing. There's no such thing as pure freedom. Oh, yeah, guys, that's my opinion the about the Scaramouge. I hope you like it. If you think I said something wrong in the video, you can comment below and correct me. Uh, Besides that, if you like the video, you can hit the like button and guys, subscribe to my channel for more Genshin related videos in the future. Thank you, guys. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.